birth, death, birth, death, birth, death, birth, death. This is cycle. We are going cycle. So one duty of the doctor is what? To save people from death, from disease, from you know. But then another duty is also there. What is to save them from birth? And that is the permanent solution. If we know in advance that what kind of problem we are expecting, and we prepare ourselves mentally, so the mindset, you know, prepare our mindset. This is a, these are the challenges I am going to face. And then when it comes, we are prepared for that. That is the one thing we can do. Second thing is that uh, <clears throat> Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. कर्मण्यवाधिकारस्ते माफलेशु पदाचना दिस इज़ द टेक्स्ट 2.47 भगवत गीता सेकंड चैप्टर 47 वर्स माफलेशु पदाचना मां कर्मफल ही तुरु मां संगतु अकर्मणि दिस एक्जेक्टली सूट्स आवर सिचुएशन आवर अकुपेशन हियर he says that Krishna says that karmani eva adhikara te that you have right to perform your duty karmani means duty but you don't have your say in the result result is not in your hand you are going to do some you know cure some patient you are giving your best what is in your hand your hundred percent you are giving but in spite of sometimes giving your hundred percent, you cannot save the person because everything is not in our hand. Whatever is in our hand, that much I can do. But ma phalesu padasana, no. The everyone has their own karma, and Krishna says that who have taken who have whoever has taken birth in this world they have to die 100% death rate so that's why it's very important to also have some spiritual talk with the patients like message of bhagavad gita eh? what krishna says to arjun arjuna was so much disturbed this will be killed, this will be killed, my relatives will be killed, I will not fight. Hmm? How will I live without them? That's what people think. Oh, they expect that people should remain alive forever. No, that's not po possible. That's why Krishna says, Asuchyana no suchastvam, pragyavadansa vasa se, gatasun agatasun sanana suchanti pandita. Those who are learned, they don't lament over those who have died or those who are about to die. Krishna says, Gatasun or Gatasun. Those who have died, for them also one should not lament. Hmm? Wonderful answer. And those who are about to die, for them also one should not lament. So then say, why? Why one should not lament? If my family member leaves me, should I not lament? They have, they are dying. How can I say, I, I will not lament? Krishna explains further. He says that, Natva vaham jatu nasam Natvam neme janadipa Na chaiva na bhavishyama Sarva vayam mataparam Krishna that there is not a time in the past that you were not there, I was not there, and all these people were not there. We have always existed, and there will not be a time when you will not be there, I will not be there, and these people will not be there. We will always exist. Even after death, we exist. We don't die. Dehi nosmin yatha dehe kaumaram javanam jarata tha dehantara praptis dhirastartakam ojati. Just like in this body, we are changing. The soul is changing body in this life. The childhood life, then youth stage, then old age. So in this body itself, we are changing the body. Medical 
Science says that every seven years, all the cells of the body is completely changed. We get a fresh body. In childhood, somebody slaps us. And then after 50 years, we meet him and say, you slapped me. He said, I slapped your childhood body. Body changed. Might, maybe four or five times, all the cells are replaced. But the person inside is not changed. The person who feels that I was slapped. That is soul. So soul is not dying. Krishna said, even the soul will not die even after death. Soul will continue. Hmm? So we should educate people also. Some programs should be there where persons are given this kind of understanding. Like in Vedic time, you see, when somebody dies, they will make them sit and read Bhagavad Gita. You know, so that they get solace. Immediately they get solace. You know, okay, okay, we understand the reality of life. You know, like that. And uh, we should also as a doctor understand. As a doctor. You should not think that my patient is the body. No. Body, they are, body we have to cure, but ultimately they are not going to die. Rather, they are going to live next life. I will give you an example, okay? Like suppose, Krishna says, further, he, 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 Krishna explains that Matra Sparsastu Kaunte Sito Suna Sukha Dukha Dagama Painu Nityastanta Tiksha Subharata That just like Sukha and Dukha, the part of life, heat and cold part of life. When there is heat, then cold. In summer season, also you have to do your duty. In winter season, also you have to do your duty. Mother, you have to go and cook in the summer also, in the winter, winter also. You don't say, no, now it's a year. Summer, I will not cook. We do our duty. So just like we are doing our duties, whether success or failure. And then further says that this body, this is like a cloth. Body is compared to a cloth. Vasansi jirnani yatha bihaya navani grihnati naru parani tatha sarirani bihaya jirnani anyani sanjati navani devi. Krishna says that just like a cloth. When your cloth becomes old, torn, what do you do? You change it, except a new cloth. Suppose I give you option, okay, that your cloth has become old, throw it and take a new one. How many of you will accept it? And how many of you will lament that why I should get new? No, I will keep my old one only. Everyone will agree that give me new one. Isn't it? And happily we accept new one. We celebrate, I got new cloth. So similarly, when the body becomes useless, old, then soul wants to leave this body. Because it, is, it has become old or maybe not workable. And then soul wants to get another fresh new body which is available. Krishna says that, where is the harm? He is going to get a new body. That's all. See, if a person has this knowledge, why he will get disturbed? He will try his best, but he will not get disturbed. But nowadays, the problem is that most of the people are not educated in this knowledge. So they consider themselves as body. And they think that if the body will go away, the person will go away person will die, you know. So this knowledge is very, very important. That's why Krishna was explaining to Arjuna that we should not lament again and again and again, again and again. You see from text number 2.11 to 2.30, second chapter, 11th verse to verse 30, Bhagavad Gita, you all should read. That I recommend all of you. Because I have a, I can explain all these slokas, you know. Every sloka I can explain in detail, but time is less. But I would recommend all of you to go through this Bhagavad Gita, read 2.11 to 2.30. Krishna again and again he said, don't come in stress, don't go in depression, no. Do your duty. 
do your duty as a matter of duty you perform your duty in the process of fighting people may get killed but you have to do your duty just like you are doing you know surgery and sometimes people operation is successful sometimes they die but that is your duty what you can do hmm? take it as a duty don't get emotionally too much attached with that you know disassociate with the emotions there you are doing or performing your duty and uh, life is all about life and death sometime somebody will die sometime somebody will live so this bhagavad gita will give us the spiritual vision he says that the soul is not going to die the soul is eternal nainam chindanti sastram nainam dahati pavak na chainam kledayan tyapo nainam shashati marupa it says that it, no weapon can cut the soul it can only cut the body the fire cannot burn the soul isn't it soul is eternal nitya sarvagata sthano achalo ayam sanatana say eternal soul is eternal hmm? it's eternal you are not going to die therefore the text 30th text krishna says that tasmat sarvani bhutani na tvam sochitu marhasi therefore do not lament for anyone krishna says after explaining all these shlokas he says do not lament for anyone see everyone spirit soul not body what spirit soul when you see the soul we don't lament because soul there is no birth no death na jayate mriyate va kadachit nayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya ajo nityam sasato yam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire text 2.220 krishna says that na jayate for the soul there is no birth for the soul there is no death namriyate eh? there is no time soul was not there not there will be any time soul will not be there soul will ever exist so you don't have to lament no lamentation perform your duties and be ready for the whatever result comes outcome comes whether it is good bad you no know, profit loss don't get affected by that so that vision spiritual vision when one develops then only we can free, become free of stress anxiety situations in life so this was the second message which i wanted to give that <clears throat> krishna says that karmani vadhikarase ma phaleshu kadacha the result is not our hand we cannot no one can that's why in bhagavad gita krishna never says anywhere that you will not die krishna says you will die death is sure death is sure but you can avoid what birth krishna is talking about try to avoid birth don't try to avoid death punarjanma vidyate maam upete tu kaunte punarjanma vidyate eh o o kaunte do jo take shelter of me they will not take birth away जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम एवं यो व्यतीत तत्व त्यक्त देहम पुनर्जन्म नहीं मेति सहज दट इफ पीपुल विल अंडरस्टैंड मी देन दे विल नॉट टेक बर्थ अगेन ही नेवर से दैट दे विल नॉट डाई डेथ इज श्योर बट यू कैन एवॉइड वॉट बर्थ सो वी शुड नॉट ट्राई टू एवॉइड डेथ वी शुड ट्राई टू एवॉइड बर्थ दैट शुड द कंक्लूजन ऑफ भगवती बिकॉज वंस यू हैव टेकन बर्थ डेथ इज श्योर so if one to avoid death then you have to avoid birth you know and how one can avoid birth hmm? by getting out of the cycle of birth and death so this is cycle birth death birth death birth death birth death this is cycle we are going cycle so one duty of the doctor is what to save people from death from disease from you know but then another duty also there what is to save them from birth 
అంతటితో పర్మనెంట్ సొల్యూషన్ అండి 